three, two, one. Hey everybody, the Studio Life. This is Mark. I'm here at Manhattan Beach Studios on the campus of MBS Media Campus. And this is another episode of the Studio Life where we talk about gear, our toys. We talk to cool people, fun. It's great. We love our business. We love our life. Studio Life. Today I'm here with a guy named John Landman. He's somebody I respect tremendously. Dude from Teradek, he's the VP of sales and he knows every single thing about what we're going to talk about. So today we're going to highlight remote monitoring. We may talk a little bit about live stream and who the hell knows. He's a friend of mine. So we're going to have some fun talking to John. So John, hey, how hey, are you, buddy? Hey, Good man. to see you. How are you doing? What's going on? You caught me off guard there. I know, I know. Yeah, uh, he's, yeah, uh, yeah, he's yeah, yeah, have a seat. You're a stealth man. You know, you're a... Oh, yeah, no, I didn't see you coming. So we're going to talk at our uh, at our cart. This is our Jaeger cart. Beautiful. Hanging studio life, you know? Beautiful. Convertible, no less. It's convertible, and it can hold like a 1,000 pounds or something like that. It's strong. It's strong stuff. I want one. <laughs> well, you it's can't like have the, this It's one. like the new Moke. I know. It's yeah. the Moke Mini. So there you go. So perfect. Excellent job. So, John. Stay classy, as they say. How you doing, man? I'm doing good. I'm doing good. Really good. Great to be here. I'm excited to be here. Any any excuse to get down to MBS of a morning and smell that fresh ocean air is, is a wonderful day. There you go. Going to hit the strand a little bit, maybe get some lunch? Absolutely. All right. Absolutely. So listen, you and I have known each other a little while now. Yes. And um, and we cross paths because we use a lot of your gear. Right. right? Teradek. Teradek gear. This guy. It's Teradek. Um, so we're we're fans, and we've struggled with a few different things through the years. And you and I have had some conversations. Yes, I want to talk a little bit a little bit about something uh, called remote monitoring. We use it here in the room for remote sets. Sure. We know we have people offset monitoring. Sure. And I know it's something you really care about, but kind of, but, what's the issue? What's going on? Well, remote monitoring or or, or offset monitoring, right? Mm -hmm. um, I would say one of the biggest challenges of offset monitoring is always connectivity. Connectivity is the is the magic, and uh, you, Mark, I you know have seen have invested in a, a large amount of gear to solve the connectivity problem. Whether it's an Ethernet drop, a Wi-Fi drop, a cellular drop, a bonded cellular drop, you know someone who provides that solution to their clients has to be able to on a dime provide connectivity and that's always a pain point right that's always the pain point and uh you you can't rely on it now in in the studio where you're at yeah we can drop an ethernet drop here and connect one of our devices up to it and send a feed up to the cloud and then send an invite to whoever you want to, to view that. But, um, you know, there are, there are many solutions for doing this. You know, some of the simpler solutions, you know, cu customers use Zoom, right? I'm sure you're familiar with Zoom. Oh, yeah. Um, there are adv advantages and disadvantages to, to all, right? Um, we've seen a huge growth over the last uh, couple of years, you know, during COVID and post COVID to it being a standard of offset monitoring. People, right. you know, people just, it, it, it's become a standard. Um, people aren't jumping on planes. People like being at home. You know, I had an executive tell me how happy he was that he could put his kids to bed without, um, you know, having to go on set and be at seven o'clock in the morning, uh, seven o'clock in the evening and, and watching on his iPad in his house. I mean, this is, this is accepted and, and, and something that is only getting better. What do I mean by getting better? Um, connectivity isn't getting better, but the, but the solutions that we provide, the features that we offer offset now, um, you know, we, we have created apps for the iPhone, the iPad, the Apple TV um, that have integrated specific in camera information. I mean, you probably heard about the in integration that we've done with Frame.io. Mm -hmm. 
Um, we, we've done the same with Sony C. Mm -hmm. um, we're doing the same with Ultion, which is another company uh, in, in the offset monitoring world. And, uh, you know, we also have our own platform. You know, the, 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 I call it Frame Lite, which is Teradek Core, um, which allows us now to send, a, and, and this is how things have changed, right? Back, back in the beginning, we were happy to get any quality out of here. And now you have the ability to send a 4K feed up to the cloud and then down to someone's iPad in 4K with specific 4K flags that allow a, a remote director to really see super high quality, 60 frame per second offset monitoring. It, it, it's almost as if they're here yeah. now. Something that we haven't talked about a lot is, is a new technology that we have. Um, it's called, and I haven't actually mentioned it, um, but it's being starting, it's, it started to be used uh, on sets. Um, it, it's a product called the Teradek Art, A-R-T. And as we mentioned, one of the biggest problems of the internet is, is, is the reliability of the internet, right? Um, I, I think a lot of people have this illusion that the internet is perfect, right? You can send a video from here to New York over the public internet, and th there is mm -hmm. packet loss. There, you, yeah. you know, there's there's a lot of jitter. There's there's problems with the internet, and you know the problems of the internet for what we do, offset monitoring, is typically two problems, or the Achilles heel of what we do is latency and quality, right? I know that a lot of your clients are, are dealing with um, Zoom, which, you know, on a quality wise is, is good enough for a lot of what you do, right? But when they want us, and to be honest, we, we're not so much uh, in in the corporate offset monitoring world, we're more in the professional offset world. Right. You know, movie sets or, or, or you know, A list productions. But as with everything, it starts at the top and then permeates its way down sure. to the bottom. Right. So I, let's I, let's th let's take a quick second and talk about what are the advantages. Like, why right. why are we doing on set or offset monitoring? In the COVID world, we get this idea like it helps with social distancing. Right. But social distancing is not why we do onset or offset monitoring. It, it, it wasn't before COVID and it's not going to be after COVID. We, we use it for a lot of different reasons around here. Right. Uh, for instance, you know, we have the epidemic problem of the business is getting the art director away from us. I've heard that. Yeah. We, you know, when we're trying to figure out how to dial in a camera, it, it takes a little bit of focus. And so when people are looking over each other's shoulder, it's not about social distancing, which is obviously important. We don't want to spread the germs, but it's it's about our ability to do our job in the production business. And so if we're able to move that monitoring away, mm -hmm. and that's just being onset. Offset allows executives who would never be there, but they get to approve that content live. It means that as a production company, we know that they've signed off on the product. They've signed off on how we build the set. They've signed off on the lighting. They've signed mm -hmm. off on the look. And so from a creative standpoint, they've already approved it. We know when we're doing it that that is an approved piece of content. Right. But if I'd have said to you three years ago that an executive's going to be sitting at his desk in New York, okaying a production that you're setting up here, you'd have said, I'm falling from Mars, that's never going to happen. Yeah, we certainly like the uh, innovation here that's allowing right, that to happen. Absolutely. Right. No it, question it, about it. You know, I, I remember walking into sets like this and having, you know, 15 executives from the um, advertising agency, the, 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 you know, all, all of the, all of the, all of the fluff that comes along, absolutely. you know, Delta was extremely happy for that kind of business. And, you know, here we are three years later, post POCO, as I like to call it, post-COVID, and it's perfectly accepted that the exec executive will now be in New York signing off on, right. on, on a deal, 
right? So, so you know, where where will we be in three years' time, right? What what? Where where do you think you'll be in three years? You know, what are the what are still the problems that you're seeing, or what, what would you like? What would you like us to solve, right? What is the problem that you know that you see day in day out? You know, I I see something. What's that thing that's holding the the, the, the mic stand here, right? At the boom, the cradle. The, the, the cradle, right? Yeah, yeah. I, I I bet that. You know, for years there was a guy holding that, and then suddenly some genius goes, "Oh, I'm going to bend a piece of metal," and boom, you've solved a national problem Absolutely. here. Absolutely, yeah, but one of the best used pieces of gear in the I, studio. I, I, I'm I'm amazed. I, I, I'm like amazed in its simplicity and the problem that it's solved. Yeah, and you know, that's that that's what changes the industry, mm -hmm. right? Finding something that's simple, affordable, and will change the way people do business. And we've, uh, I mean, we've witnessed it, right? I mean, anyone that's been in this studio life for the last four or five years, have, I mean, they've suffered. I mean, I mean, it's been painful. And, uh, you know, I'm hoping that we're out, you know, we're out the other end and, and things are busy. And, 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 the new, and the new techniques that they've learned, um, you know, new, new skill sets are needed on set now. Yeah. You know, a guy that understands IP. That didn't exist. Right. You know, I, I wanted to train someone. Um, you know, I, I wanted to create on set a, a guy I could call a Teradex scientist. And I wanted to get a T-shirt printed up with Teradex scientist or terrorist for short. But it didn't fly. Marketing didn't go for it. But, um, you know. And maybe if they could have watched from offset, they would have said, you know what, we're in on this. We're one. in on this one, yes. Yeah, yes. it's, you know, it, but it was always about the, it was the not the 15 executives that were on set, mm -hmm. but it was the one that stayed home. Oh. It was always that guy who, who or that, that, so, that gal who, who, who saw the content later sure. and said, you know what, this doesn't work for me. So, um, and we're, we're mostly, I will tell you, most of the time we are asked to use Zoom. And we tie in Zoom. I, I was telling you earlier, uh, yep. John. We we have a, a, our own cube, right? That we use both uh, for on set when clients walk in. We give them a sheet of paper and and instructions for what app to download and how to log in to, to our internet. And so they get to pick their executives. We can run multi camera into it through our through our decimator multi viewer, mm -hmm. um, or we will actually cut a separate live quote live stream. And set, simply set a live stream to the cube so that people on set can look at what they're looking for. If they want to see one camera, we cut to one camera. If they want to see a bundle of four, and we're using the cube in the room or within our internet domain, right? To give that to people, we're also feeding that to Zoom so that their remote people can take a look at it. And we're even using a bolt. To be honest, I don't want to focus on your you're solving the world's problems, but. Uh, but we're even using a bolt to shoot that video then to the TV that's in the lobby. And for those that don't know what a bolt is, that's a wireless video transmitter that Teradek makes that yeah, we, oh, I mean, we can ha have a whole session about bolt, but basically today we can transmit on set uh, uncompressed 4K uh, up to 5,000 feet away with zero delay. We, yeah. we actually won an Academy Award for that. Nice. It was so a lot you, of work for me. That's that's beautiful. It Congratulations. Was, it was Do you have slog. the Academy Award in your house? Um, no, I don't. <laughs> but I should. <laughs> you should. At least a photo of it. But you know, get, getting back to to something that you said, you, you you just mentioned that. Oh, and ex director can't make it for that day, mm -hmm. right? Last week, I got a call from a CBS production, right? That the director has been quarantined for COVID. The nightmare of production. He was wearing, he did everything he should, but that little devil coronavirus got him. And the problem or the solution that he needed couldn't be fulfilled with Zoom because of the quality and the latency, mm -hmm. right? Um, we, we started to produce a new protocol 
that came out of our lab in Israel. So, so Bolt, which is uncompressed with zero delay, imagine, imagine that sneaks away in the one night and gets into bed with a cube. What do you get? They have a baby called Art. What does this baby do? So Art can send a video feed from here to New York in under 100 milliseconds. Yes. Okay? 100 milliseconds is about three frames. So it's as if someone's in the room next door. But the magic of art is that it can also deal with up to 5% packet loss. Packet loss is what we experience over the public internet. And in the past, the way to solve or deal with packet loss is to increase your latency. So you, you, you sacrifice latency for quality. Art is the first solution to solve that problem. So we put an art box in the director's home and on set we had a camera feeding the art box. He was able to view the feed in three frames of delay, 4K. So he's seeing exactly what he would be seeing if he was standing at a bolt on the other side of the room. But the one piece of, how do I say it? The, 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 the icing on the cake here is that the art box is bi-directional. So he was sending his feed. He had a PTZ camera at home pointing at him. So he's sitting at his desk staring at the images coming from set. He has a PTZ camera sending his image that went back onto the big screen. And it's as if he is virtually talking. Nice. We haven't really talked about art, but you're going to start to hear a lot more about art from us. I've, I've, I've had CNN did the feed from the Queen's uh, shindig in London last month. They, they sent a 4K feed from London to Atlanta and to New York in three milliseconds, or in, in 100 milliseconds, three frames. And they were doing an interview bi-directionally, yeah. which you would have used Zoom for, right? You would mm -hmm. have used Zoom, but, but they, they want quality. So we were doing 4K point-to-point -point, bi-directionally as if they were in the same room. It's it's unbelievable. Yeah, it's really amazing. it's really cool. And I can see other benefits for that. We've we've done some projects where we we looked at the way productions were feeding raw video right. to editors across across the globe. Yep. Cutting sizzle reels mm -hmm. and, and and replay reels and shooting them back. There's so many benefits to the ability uh, from a monitoring standpoint. So many of our clients are happy to be dumbed down because right. executives are used to Zoom. But when it comes to broadcast, the ability to not be dumbed down, to be able to get that feed in an editable, ready to go quality, cut it, deliver it, and be done is 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 life changing. I think that your skill is that you have such a breadth of products because mm -hmm. it's never one it's not a one size fits all. That's right. Right? Customer A comes in and they want this. Customer B wants the that. Customer C wants something else. And I think you've been able to survive in studio life because you've been able to accommodate all those different solutions. Right. And, I mean, your, your skill set must have completely changed over the last few years. I mean, three years ago, did you know about zoom and I, I you know I, I mean this 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 is this is I think what's changing studio life you know that that these tools have become as synonymous on set as these tools yeah you know you can't no, it's, get it's around absolutely there's no question about it the the, the the changes for how we're able to do things have been so wonderfully beneficial to us um, 
and but I, I I continue to get back to little the little things that are not always appreciated, like the client approvals. That that by itself is essentially our biggest change. That a director is able to do the interview, then listen to it, watch it. The producers mm-hmm. are right there. Mm-hmm. That the complaints go down. <laughs> that we when we would have to redo something, or somebody would give us, uh, you know, they'd say, "Oh, well, we didn't like the lighting." Well, that's subjective, right? We did the best we could based on the instructions, and our lighting was great, but it wasn't the way you wanted it. But here, the fact that you're able to see it takes away your ability to say, I didn't see it, I didn't approve it, it right. wasn't great. And that right. means that we deliver basically 100% of the time something that is client approved. Huge. I mean, it. it it means the business can happen much faster, yeah. right? I was at a post-production facility the other uh, a while back, and uh, they were shooting a, an HBO show. Um, and the two A-list stars were ready onto their next jobs. But these A-list stars who one of them, I, I, I won't tell you her name other than her name is Nicole Kidman. Um, she was, or her people had to sign off on the um, color look, the look and feel of yep. the shoot. So her people were in Paris and the other person's, don't tell anyone, it, it was Big Little Lies. So, so who, do, you, do you remember that show? I do. Okay, so it was Nicole Nicole Kidman mm-hmm. and uh, oh, there was um, Glenn uh, Glenn Close. Glenn Close, I think, was in it, wasn't I it? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Shit, we're bad. Yeah. Anyhow, oops. We'd, Anyhow, we'd, we'd edit this part if we edited. Okay. We, you know. Okay. So, so, so the the point is, is that I had these two A list. The, oh, jeez. Is that me? Knows. That's you. Okay. So, <laughs> telephones on set. Phones on set. Turn them off. We did edit that part out too if we edited. I, okay. And uh, anyhow, so so we had the ability to share a post production feed, a colorist feed, with these two A lists um, colorist people, and they were giving remote approvals in real time from two different parts of the world. And after the colorist had finished the work he said john if if we had to do that old school it would have delayed the project six weeks they're not going to be back in la for another six Mm -hmm. weeks i I mean in reality this solution solves problems i mean i mean it, it it solves financial problems as well you know it it allows you to produce more, quicker, faster, and cheaper. Yeah, absolutely. And they're going to be, on, on this particular uh, studio life, we're going to talk about a number of solutions. Uh, the, the remote collaboration that Blackmagic just released, the ability for somebody to receive those proxies, including through your technology with Frame.io, get those proxies, cut it, send it back, mm-hmm. and, have those proc- and have the file itself, the XML file, comes back. Mm-hmm. Without the files, just as a tiny little Pointers. few kilobyte yeah. Uh, yeah, email. Yeah. An EDL. And next thing you know, the, the footage is cut, the 4K is rendering, and, and, you, and you're good to go. There are so many little things happening right now that are really making our lives. Uh, it, so it's, it's, it's not just about to a colorist and an editor. Mm-hmm. It's also about the ability for someone to actually do the cut all the way around the world. Mm-hmm. You know, we, we did a... Uh, a show related to poker. The tournament was going on in Vegas. The commentators were here. The production company was in Korea. Hmm. Everybody's looking at the same footage. It's flying all around. We're doing the cut live. It's going to air, and and we're and we're we're living the life. Uh, you know, the the tournament proceeds as it's supposed to. Everybody's happy, and that doesn't happen without the ability to move that information around very very quickly. Would you say that that's become standard now? That's the way things are done? Uh, I would say we always, <laughs> I'm going to say it this way. We always offer it as a standard option. Right. The 
way it's being adopted by clients continues to vary. Right. Some are mo- embrace this more. Others want more people to be on set. It's considered a perk. Being on set is considered a perk. So, you know, that sounds like a pretty sophisticated production. Mm-hmm. Okay. You turn up on the morning and something doesn't work. Yeah. What do you do? We, f- we find a way. <laughs> okay. What are the tools that you use to solve the problems, though? I, I mean... What do you what do you do different today in the respect of making sure that what you're going to do is is reliable right um, you know we, we we're sitting here in studio life and you know what's changing you know cameras are getting cheaper um, lighting is cheaper you got to do more for less is that is that what we've got to concentrate on or or um is quality still do, do you still do you still see a a place where um you will be able to provide super high quality feeds um to korea for example um or it'll all go up into the cloud and you'll edit in the, in the cloud. And uh, I, have you done any of, of that recently? Um, uh, yeah, it, it's, I, I, we run a very varied business. Right. So for us, every client that comes in is completely unique. Uh, it's very rare for us to see the same type of production twice in a month. So, the, our ability to solve problems for us is constantly evolving, you know, the, and so it's, it's, it is a lot of fun in that sense to try to directly answer your question. It, it, a lot of what we do depends and our ability to solve problems is so unique to the problem that we have. And I don't know that there's ever been a piece of gear, all respect, that hasn't failed us at some point that hasn't caused us to in the moment, find a way to adapt. That's it, I'm out of here. Yeah. Uh, no, so that's, I, I think problem solving for us is, is the key. Right. And some of the tools that have come out lately have been life changing in the sense that they are requiring less problem solving. They're more reliable. Right. You know, Zoom doesn't go down for the most part. It's right. always been been there when we needed it. and. We, our biggest complaint on Zoom is that someone is sitting in a waiting room on a secure, right. on a secure call for too long. Most of the time, it works. It, when problems arise in the Zoom world, it's because the remote person's internet is bad. Right. And so, I think the greatest thing that we have is not that the prices are going down. The prices of cameras are staying the same, but the features that are built into those cameras right. is growing and growing and growing. And so we're able to do more, more reliably, fewer problems to solve. And every generation of gear that comes out, uh, this newest generation of the Cube versus my, the Cubes that we own, you know, I'm sure is going to be fewer problems to solve. It's going to be way more reliable, faster setup, all this stuff. Right. But that's that's our greatest ally right now. Right. I, I, I think we've probably followed the, the same trend of cameras. Not that the price is going down, but packing in a lot more features. That's right. Right. Yeah. I mean, the, the the new cube is a 4K, 12G SDI, HD SDI recorder, mm-hmm. transmitter, bonded cellular <laughs> live streaming yeah. device. I mean, it, 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 it's it's an army Swiss knife of an encoder, and it it does everything except an espresso, which I actually have actually put in uh, as a requirement for the next uh, generation. Yeah, and, and that's honestly, I mean, we, I don't want to hawk your products, but that's what we love about the Cube is right. we could do our onset monitoring, offset monitoring, cellular bonding, uh, hardware encoding. And so for us, that's it is the Swiss Army knife of the studio. Um, and and uh, while we use other products now, including the Link, which mm-hmm. is sort of our version of the bond because we don't know what platform we're going to use on the other end. We're not always RTMPing our way out of here. Sure. Um, let, let me just the, tell the, people what the link is. The, okay. The, the link is a 
Wi-Fi router, like any Wi-Fi router, but instead of you plug it, plugging it into the internet over Ethernet, we use four cellular connections to aggregate the bandwidth. Right. So it means that you can be in the middle of a field and have a broadband connection to the internet. Yeah. And the way that you use it is because you could be here today in the middle of a field tomorrow or on the beach and still want to get you know a higher bit rate than just Wi-Fi to a MiFi. That's right. right. But from a cube and cellular bonding standpoint, the cube has been amazing. Is a is Thank a remarkable you. device at that. So yeah. it's, it really is the Swiss Army knife Do you know of, how many, of monitoring. I, I I will make your coffee for a day if you can tell me how many cubes we have sold in the last ten years. All I get is coffee. And push your luck. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I I and and. and Short of hazarding a terrible guess, I could I could say that we we would recommend them to any production because of what it uh, of all the types of monitoring that we do. So so you're going to make me coffee then. Um, we have we have a hundred and eighty thousand cubes in the wild, and one of the funnest things that ever happens to me is that I'll be at a trade show and some guy will walk up to me and say, "Man." I have your cube on the top of the Empire State Building, and it's been there for seven years. We can't get into the control room up there, but it's been sending us a traffic cam from there for the last seven years. Yeah. We've never touched it. And, uh, you know. Super <laughs> cool. It's, it's, it, it, it is cool because, I mean, you know, I, whether you know, we have them on spacecraft or we have them on productions or, I mean, we have them as doorstops some places, you know. <laughs> Uh, or we have them as you have them, stuck inside studios. I mean, you know, I, I have a number of studios that deploy two, cube, two cubes in every studio so that they can offer offset monitoring as, as part of the solution. Mm -hmm. I, I would say, you know, you're very, you're very um, advanced in your thinking because they're just now starting to think about it. And you've been doing it for years. That's right. You are... A, you are a renegade in this industry. That's what we try to tell people. Yes. Renegade. Renegade. <laughs> yeah, no, it's, 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 uh, and I will tell you, a lot of the features that we are not things that we, we were aware of when we bought or that we, uh, or that we knew that we needed. And so the ability for us, and, and this does not just apply to this, it applies to almost all the gear we have. Right. Is we keep reading the instruction manuals over and over and over again because there are so many features built into everything mm -hmm. that you never touch. But eventually you might need that feature and to realize that you've had it all along is a pretty remarkable thing. Um, it lets us solve a lot more problems for no additional expenditure. And it's, it's a, pretty cool, a, a pretty cool dynamic. What's the next problem you'd like us to solve? I'll tell you, it, it always comes down to, for us, more and more reliability. When when we're dealing with point-to-point, uh, -point, mm -hmm. line-of-sight stuff. I have to get you an art encoder. You're going to need to get us an art encoder. Yeah. That That is our our, our glitch. When we set up uh, gear yeah. and we're worried that something's going to get in the way of that line-of-sight, yeah. it's going to cause a problem, that continues to be the reason why we trust wires. So... so I'll tell you a little story about ART. ART stands for Amamon Reliable Transport. Amamon is the company that developed the Bolt chipset, and Teradek owns Amamon. And about six months ago, they presented the final solution, and, you know, it, ART is actually a protocol, right? Um, so they put up on the whiteboard ART, Amamon Reliable Transport from, and they did, they did a little block diagram from here to New York in 100 milliseconds over really terrible internet. Because again, Amamon Reliable Transport. And I'm like, guys, you've, you've missed the point here. It's really, really fast. So you need to call it Fast Amamon Reliable Transport. Or, Great, yeah. True story, true story. Quality acronyms here on the studio. True life. story. Now, ART can send up to a server, kind of like a Helios server in the cloud, mm -hmm. 
that allows us to do everything DHCP. For those that don't know what DHCP is, read up on it. For those that do know what DHCP is, it means life is really easy. You can drop a box in someone's home and plug it into their internet. It's going to call up to, to the server in the cloud and everything can be DHCP. It, it, just, it just means, you know, CNN or you can ship something to someone's home and not have to worry about IP. It, it would be pos impossible to send something to someone's home and get a fixed IP address in order to do a point-to-point, -point, right? So the, the server in the cloud was called the Amamon Streaming Server. That was, that was the acronym. It took right. a while to get there, now, didn't you? It, it did. It did. And we continue the theme of we, amazing I, acronyms here true, on the studio. Life. True story. I mean, that that was the true story. And uh, yeah, there's more, but I, I I won't. You know, we 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 wanted to. Um, well, we've actually we've actually we've actually uh, added it as a feature to this product. Let me let me show you closer. There it is. Right. This is the new cube prism. Blah blah blah. Really, really cool product. Love it. Anyhow, so it has an SD, an SD slot in here. So we can, anything that we record, we can, anything that we stream rather, we can record onto the, we, we can record onto the SD card. And we can, we can, at that same time, push it up to core or to frame or, mm -hmm. so that someone can then edit the proxies we we record um, camera name, time code, right. right? Kind of the workflow that that you were doing. Um, but a few years ago, we wanted to make a product that just did that, and it, it would. We were going to call it the file upload card reader. That was the product. You're going to have to edit that bit out. But it's true. It's true. Yeah, we're unwinding here. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, no, it's it it like I said, we're 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 certainly fans. Um uh, so with that said, I, I I think we've we've used up our allocated time. Well thank you. There's plenty more I think I would like to discuss with you. I hope you come back. Oh with with pleasure and um you know something that we could something that here's something that would be fun to do. Okay. You have a screen here. Okay. Let's turn it ninety degrees. And I'll bring you an art box, and I will be you will be virtually interviewing me from my office in Irvine. Let's do it. And you'll basically put a screen here, and we would be doing a back and forth how we are doing now. Next time. It, it would be fun to try. That's right. So I have my topics already built, so you, you do. can prepare. Yeah, we're going to focus okay. a little bit on uh, on on backup servers and the ability to stay live so sure that is the topic we should prepare for this topic. because it's going to be a good discussion it, it's a it, because the motto of the internet is it will always fail you always fail so we're going to solve <laughs> the world's problems yes in the next time but john you're the man thank you for coming and hanging thank you my pleasure it was fun being here beautiful studio so with that in mind And cut. <laughs> Thank you guys for joining here on the Studio Life. It's been a pleasure. John Lamb and VP Sales Teradek. Obviously, he's a great guy and a pleasure uh, to host. In the meantime, keep on watching. Three.